I'm Mrs. B, you've come to Art Life, and today we're gonna to have a go at creating something that has to do with you. Your personality, who you are, what you love, where you live, all the things to do with your identity. So I'm gonna guide you through to create an artwork that looks a little bit like this. And this lesson is a part of the Minimal Material series, which means you don't need much to create something really bright and awesome just like this. We're going to play a game called code word so in this video later on at some point there is going to be a secret code word that i give you now if you remember that code word write it down in the comments straight away i will pick someone who has commented the correct code word and i'll give them a super awesome shout out in a future video so if you'd love to be shouted out in a video that's coming up, make sure that you find that code word, write it down in the comments, and I might pick you. What you'll need for this drawing based task is a piece of A4 paper. Alternatively, you could do this task on an A3 piece of paper if you're wanting to do it on a larger scale. You'll also need a pair of scissors and some drawing materials. It really doesn't matter what drawing materials you have. I've got some crayons that I'll work with today. Um, you might choose to use textures, but if you have some sort of fine liner or black marker that you can outline everything with, that would be awesome. You might even prefer to um, use a gray lead to draw with first as well. So just some simple drawing materials, gather them up, set up your drawing station, and we can get started. The first thing we're going to do today is actually turn our piece of paper, which is currently a rectangle, into a square. Okay, what I'm going to do is just fold this corner over to me, the bottom of my paper here. Try not to fold it too much there, but we want to sort of draw where this line is. That creates a perfect square. We're actually going to cut that line to make our artwork become a square. Now, you don't have to do this step. This is going to make it all look a little bit more symmetrical and neat and tidy. Awesome. Okay. As I said, a little bit more folding to keep going. Now what we're going to do is fold from one side to the other as neatly as you can. So we've created two equal halves. Now we're actually going to repeat that process, but go the other way to create one, two, three, four quarters. All right, now I'm going to fold this bottom to meet in the middle. I'm going to do the same with the top. The neater you do this, the more even your squares are going to be, and it's going to be a better result. I'm going to repeat that process by folding the insides. Lucky last fold. Make them meet, create a bit of a door and open. Okay, so hopefully what you are now left with is 16 squares. Now, our artwork today is going to be based on creating an image in each of these 16 squares. So the first thing I would probably do, if you have a ruler, it might make it a little bit neater, but you could rule a line to sort of show these squares nice and clearly. Fantastic. Now we've prepared the paper for our artwork. I'm going to put that to a side for a second and introduce the theme of today's lesson. Today is all about our identity. And identity is a really important concept and a great one to explore through art. Identity essentially just means who you are. It's not about who I am or who your best friend is. It's about you and exploring all the things that make up the person that you are and the awesome person that you are. Now, lots of different things make up who you are. Firstly, 
you have a name that's been given to you. It might consist of where you live. Identity also consists of things like what you love. And that might all be different from person to person. Now, what we love can also vary a lot. Obviously, really deep and important things like family and friends, the people that are in our lives, might just come down simply to the food you love. Maybe food is a really big part of your identity and the things that make you have joy. Maybe it's the type of hobbies or interests that you might have and the way you like to spend your time. And lastly, it's also about your personality. The traits and the things that make up the type of person you are, the way you think, the way you behave and the way that you communicate with other people. So these are just some simple sort of ideas to start getting you to think about your own identity and things that make you, you, because you are super important. So what we're going to do with our grid here is actually explore a different part of your identity through pictures in each of the 16 boxes. So you can go as deep or as superficial as you wish but try to explore some of these themes that I've talked about. Now, the first thing we're going to do is our name. So I'll just do my professional name, which is Mrs. B. And so I'm going to do a letter for my name in each of these boxes. Um, so obviously four letters, I'm gonna take up four boxes. If you have a longer name, obviously you will take up more than those. Now. You can go one, two, three, four like that, or you can actually mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna start here. And I'm gonna do some funky lettering that I know how to do. So try to do some bubble writing of some sort if you can. Mix it up a bit. Now, if someone was looking at this, I'd like them to sort of understand what my name is. If I kind of do M here, then R here, then B here, then S here, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I sort of want it to have some sort of pattern. So I might do S here. Cool. So that if someone were to look at it, they might get the idea that that's my name. <laughs> so, I actually have 12 more boxes to explore a part of my identity in each of them. So you can do the same. Obviously yours is not going to look much like mine because you might live in a different place. You might have a different hobby or different interest, but I'm going to start with where I live. So drawing, I'm from a little old place called Australia. So I've given myself a tricky task of actually drawing what it looks like, which is super hard. You might just choose to do your country's um, map or even just a state or something, an idea of where you live. There you go, that's kind of what Australia looks like and I live about there, <laughs> down the bottom. Now I've started to draw in pencil first, which you might choose to do for each of the boxes. Um, but because I'm quite confident um, with my drawing, what I might do is actually just start drawing in my fine liner or my texture straight away, just to save a bit of time. But what you would do is outline, just as I'm doing here, over the top of your pencil mark as neatly as possible, just to make whatever you've drawn stand out. So your aim today is to not necessarily write what you love, it's to show what you love and who you are. So I could have written the names of my children or my family or written family, but I've tried to come up with a creative way of depicting them and showing that my family is a part of who I am 
through a visual way, not a written way. So show, don't tell. So if someone were to look at this, they'd actually learn a few things about me. Now, it is challenging to try to fill every single box, but as I said, you can be quite superficial with it. You can put in lots of different types of food that you love. If, um, if you can't think of anything else to do, all the things you like to do could come down to um, listening to music, the, the type of music you listen to or the shows you watch or the games you play. You can try to demonstrate those through a visual way as well. Now don't forget, the code word is coming up soon. And if you want a shout out, you need to write whatever today's code word is in the comments below. Okay, so I've finished the drawing section of this task and everything is outlined, ready to be colored in. So this is my identity, I guess, in a piece of square paper. So I'll take some time now just to add some color. Obviously, it just depends on what type of coloring materials you have at home, pencils, crayons, textures, it does not matter. As long as you're putting in every effort to make it as bright and neat as possible. Now, depending what age level you're at or skill level you are at, you might have a go at creating a bit of tone and using more than one color for each section. You can see here that I've blended my colors and gone from light blue to dark blue. I've used more than one green for my land here. And so that's made this square look a lot more interesting and realistic than say just using one color at a time. So if you're a little bit older or you're really confident with your coloring skills, I really suggest that you have a go at trying some blending and multiple color use um, within some of your squares. Code word today is gifts. If you'd like a shout out, make sure you put it in the comments below. So you can see I'm pretty much done with my identity based artwork. I have tried to color in every little section every little background that you might have noticed I've actually kept the letters of my name white because I think that will stand out quite well if everything else is filled with color so there we go I'm done I really love this task because you can pretty much just look at this artwork without any explanation without any words and learn a whole lot about me and if you follow me at my socials or tag me at artlife.melb on Instagram or artlife art lessons on Facebook, you'll be able to show me all about you and how you have gone with a task like this one. So it's as simple as that. Obviously, I hope that your work looks different to mine because this task was meant to be all about you. And I hope you've enjoyed exploring who you are and being proud of the person you are as well. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment and ring that bell because I've got heaps of videos for you coming up in the future. Have a good day.